This episode is sponsored by Google Play with the help of Lords Mobile. You've seen them visit outer space, secret prisons on the moon, even travel through time. Now, follow the men in black on their most exotic out of this world destination yet. Europe. Yay. Men in Black International. Suit up for the reboot of a franchise built around Will Smith goofing on a bunch of grumpy white guys. Hey, old guys! But they're throwing out the proven formula in favor of something much more daring. Stick two beautiful people on screen together and hope they're funny. Well, it's not gonna save itself. Are you saying that you need me to save the world? Uh-huh. Not so. Uh-oh. Just have them give each other thumbs up instead. I don't know what was harder for Taika, making these two funny, or Hitler. Tessa Thompson is M, a code name that was thankfully still available. I can be Agent M. While Chris Hemsworth is Agent H, a guy who's both great at his job. I need the best agent in the building. And a lazy screw up. Ah! Hey. Oops, sorry. So when this top agent slash total loser teams up with a rookie who's by the book slash completely reckless, the results will be so muddled, it'll feel like each actor hired their own personal screenwriter. Because they did. Yikes. I hope you didn't pay any extra for this one. I have nothing. I have no dog, no cat, definitely no chill. You remember the Men in Black, the cool as ice agency with its own child separation policy. Look, I just want to see my kids. Come on. They've gone from protecting the galaxy to letting alien frat boys have their way with us. In short, he wants to be shown a good time. Are you uh, pimping me out to Vungus? But when two aliens arrive who can disguise themselves as humans, you know, like every other alien, they'll use their powers to reshape the Earth around them, to steal a gun with the power to reshape the Earth around them. Because the Jababians trust them might be with a weaponized star to protect the yakety smackety and blah blah blah. Liam Neeson is a real bad guy at the end. There, I just saved you two hours. Now go scroll through the Tessa Thompson Go Twitter. It's way more thought out, and it's actually funny. And Sony just bought the movie rights, didn't they? Want to see them aliens? This movie's got them. And while some of them are racial caricatures, and some of them are beloved comedians dusting off their 2012 material. What is this, the sequel to The Notebook? All of them are extremely horny. He thinks you're hot. He's just so yummy. Human or? Doesn't matter. No, I'm just curious how it works between species. <laughs> this is familiar, isn't it? Are we sure F. Gary Gray actually directed this? Because it kind of feels like someone's trying to get fired. Oh. So dress up like the bouncer at a country club and fetishize guns like it didn't go out of style. Because once the 21 Jump Street crossover fell through and Will Smith passed to do Bad Boys 3, you are about to experience the minimum viable studio product that technically qualifies as a movie. Something is wrong in Men in Black. Morons in black, if you ask me. Hey, could you just zap me with that forgetting thing, please? Uh, yeah, can I get my memory wiped too, please? Oh, whoa, my brain. What happened? Why am I in a recording booth? Ooh, they made a new Men in Black movie with Thor and Valkyrie? That sounds cool. Starring. Not him's worth it. Sorry to bother me. I did it for maybe a week, hoping some Men in Black bastard would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know? Kumail not even trying to be funny. Why well, you gotta bring Rebecca Ferguson into this? Nanny McFlee, James P. Sullivan, and the twins who also had to be in Cats? Man, 2019 was not their year. Men in Black, ew. You know, this is the second Will Smith sequel to not actually feature Will Smith, but reference his character with an oil painting on the wall. In fact, right now, someone out there is working on his oil painting for Suicide Squad 2. This episode is sponsored by Google Play. Get Lords Mobile and discover more on Google Play. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary to the sweetest girl I know. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Birthdays are healthy. The more you have, the longer you live.